Um, hi, uh, welcome to another installment of Odd DPMS DBA Tutor. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, basically um, how to record your commands on the admin console and then basically and 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 record those commands in a, in a that py file and then basically and, and how to and to execute those commands after you after after you record them inside of inside of the file uh, using your uh, WLST. Uh, what logic you can do. So what I'll do is, uh, I am I'm already, I already have my admin console open. Uh, I have I'm gonna go to so to get to to start the recording you go to preferences and basically inside of preferences you have you have this tab the WLST script recording. So before you even actually go to that uh, to this um, this um, tab, basically just make sure that you have uh, this setting enabled. This one has to be checked. So I want to and again just it's already checked. So that's that configuration is already set, is already uh, is already saved. I'm going to go to the lab tab, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to general first. Uh, and this is as you as you saw this is where i'll come back to you know start the recording the the, the, the recording you know session the recording of my edit of my of the session so go to general uh so here you have this one setting right the automatic recording uh basically this is so you have if you read if you read if you look at the text um here so it's going to tell you okay this setting cannot be enabled at the same time as automatic uh Automatic file log and FBA changes. That's 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 the setting that I that I enabled earlier. So these two settings are not compatible, right? So you have you have to have one enabled uh, or the other. So uh, my perfect my uh, my recommendation is that you you should you 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 find it easier to just deal with um, you know having uh, one having this one enabled and not the automatic recording enabled. The reason why basically is, uh, you know, if you if you dealing with a, with having a having a file, okay, after you create a file, you're not, you know, you can't you can't get rid of the file because it's, you know, because of the stuff is 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 still it's not it hasn't the 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 uh the uh, the connection to to the Java to the Java process is not it's not being it's not being released, you know, so because of that, I recommend that you just use the uh, you do not enable automatic recording. It makes it makes you know. You know, having to get rid of files, you know, and basically and, and saving up space, and and you know, and basically not having to have more resources. Uh, you know, it makes that it makes that job much much easier. So basically, uh, this so you come to uh, I've already enabled um by the uh, allocate, uh, allocate uh acquire lock, allocate allocate acquire lock and activate activate changes right. So what I'll do next, I'm gonna go to come to this tab and then go to control. And actually before I go to control, so you can actually set uh the directory um uh, location for for basically for where for where your file is going to be is going to be set. Uh it's going to be uh, it's going to be kept. And based in my current my current directory is uh so I've already this path domain one, this code domain one is 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 this is this one that is this one so, um, and then this is the file name, the script underscore that uh that test, uh underscore test that py, uh, and they and in terms of the file um, so I think in the previous tutorial I just went over how I already went over how Python, uh, how Jaffa and Python are essentially you know are closely related and that's why you actually what you why you are. Uh, using that py files, um, that's what that's what the, uh, the WLST tool uh, uh, is able to uh, execute uh, Python files, uh, Python files, and and they, again uh, as as you know for your for your for your Jive, for, for so basically so WLST is uh, built on Python, Python and Python are closely related. So if you create a Python file, then basically you will be, be able to run it in a Python environment. So uh, what I'll do next is just go to uh, go to control. I've already again the file is not being created yet, right? So go to control and I click on start, start recording. So if you can remember this, the file was script script underscore test. So start a recording. 
There you go. And then the file was just created. It's still going to score test. What I'll do next is I'm going to actually go into my uh, system and just start to, uh, you know, make some, um, change some of my settings. So let's go to service. Um, go to service. Uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna go. I'm going to go to uh, manage server number two. Uh, going to manage server number two. I'm going to change the listen port for my SSL for this server. Uh, so it's currently set for seven thousand seven thousand four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, disable this. But you know, I'm just gonna change enable it and you know set it to seven thousand. And free, and then I'm going to save it. Okay, can I do the So let's do seven thousand. We've already had four, so let's just do four. Okay, save. There you go. Uh, then simply uh, update it. So what I'll do next is I'm going to go to my go back to my preferences um, tab. Go to WLSG script recording. And as you can see, my script has been recorded, right? Uh, what I'll do next is I'm going to stop the recording. And the recording session has ended. It's been recorded to podcast. What I do next is I'm gonna to go to I'm gonna to come to my my, my underscore that test underscore test that py open up my file so the what the what's what's inside the file should be the same as what I have what I have here there you go so as you can see they are the same I have the same commands receiving to servers there you go um and in terms of in terms of um, in terms of again, if you're not familiar with what with that with CM, what CMO stands for, it stands for Current Management Object, and that's just in Ambien um, Ambien Server Ambien Server uh, your, your Ambien Object, and so this so so what that is is if you come again, I've already explained it previously. So if you come into the WLSD the WLSD uh, tool, it's going to be the base. The, the the root the root the root item so the root item would be uh you know server config or down or, or, or domain runtime or or uh or JNDI or custom so that's what an ambient server is it's just it's just the root and then and then that root uh has a hierarchy so that's what a CMO is kind of management object it's just an ambient an ambient object uh let me minimize this uh close the file and I'm not going to keep this file. So if you if you wanted to, you could actually you can actually do this. You can actually just save. You can say you can okay. You've already saved the file, right? You can actually take this file, you know, you know, and send it. And you know, if you wanted to replicate, uh, and you know, a you know some commands, you know, you know, cross systems, right? You can you know take a file, you know, you know, and then just you know transfer it to to a new to a different system. And then just and then just execute that file on your uh, on this window, basically by just running by you know and again so I think the command is I think exec file and then basically you would say you would just run the file the file here file name and but but what you would need to do is you would need to have again so you had a, you would have a path so you would have path of course you would have and then path and then it's gonna lead to the file name and then make sure you put in that py and so basically that's how you execute a uh, that's how you execute a a py file on you know on the wlsd uh, script the script control wlsd so what I'll do now is um minimize this window so I've already, I've already I'm done I'm done with the uh, you know uh, basically taking try to record so I'm gonna get rid of the file. Okay, so let me see.
I'm gonna take. I'm gonna show you that uh, another configuration that you can also have. Um, and basically, that with that configuration, you would have. You can enable uh, automatic recording. Uh, let me see if I if that's gonna try. If that's gonna work. No, not this time. So, let me. Um, There it is. Let's save it. Which is the previous configuration. There you go. There you go. So that's how you get rid of the file when you're done. Just make sure you release the configuration. Uh, what I'll show you next is I'm going to show you so you can if you remember I told you these this parameter and uh, or my recording are, are not compatible so uh, I I did not I have not enabled the other one uh, but this and also this one is not enabled as well so you can uh, you can enable this and then go to you know the same thing so with, so when you enable um let me do this let me actually just save this. No, I need to. This is not enabled. Okay, save it. Try log. Control. Okay, so again, so I was, I was telling you earlier, so it's easier to just, and again, this it gets really complicated when you have to deal with all my recording stuff. So. Um, do not, do not, you know, from what I've experienced, but my recording is, you know, it's too complicated. So what I've been doing is I've just been, uh, I've just been, you know, using the, just a regular recording by not enabling automatic recording and not enabling this setting, but enabling, uh, this setting. And that's how I've been, I've been saving my, my, um, my files all this time. So. Uh, and again, this this one works uh, best, you know, from my from my my point of view. Uh, just thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.